Hey, what is up everybody? It is Alex from Everything for iPod. Today I'm installing Windows 8 Consumer Preview to my Mac and I'm showing you the process in case you would like to do it. Now I installed the English 64-bit version. I already have it downloaded and it gives me the product key on this website. By the way, this website does come from Microsoft so it is completely legal, perfectly okay to do this. This is made for you to try out and test. So download whichever version you want, whatever language you want, and then 32 or 64-bit version, depending on what your system can handle. System requirements are lower down on this page in case you want to check. So I'm going to leave this open because I need the product key later on in the video. But for now, you want to open up whatever you're going to be using to install it. So this can either be Parallels, VMware Fusion, or Bootcamp. Bootcamp is free. It is located in Applications then in Utilities and Bootcamp Assistant. There's instructions on how to do it in that. If you have the money, go out and buy Parallels or VMware Fusion. It's much easier to use. It runs directly in your Mac. You don't need to restart to access the operating system. And it's a much easier install as well. So to get started, you're just going to click this little plus. Now I am on an older version of Parallels, so it might look a little bit different on mine, but it won't really matter. It's the same process, but newer version might just look a little bit sleeker. But now you want to head into wherever you downloaded it. You want to choose your image file. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this. I downloaded it already. It took about a half hour to download. And when you're done, just click continue. Okay, so now it might say automatic detection failed just because Windows 7 isn't officially out. So go ahead to more windows and other windows. If Windows 8 is there, choose that. But if not, just click other windows and click OK. Now name it whatever you want. I'm going to type in Windows Windows 8. And now you can select wherever you want it to install to. So that's perfect where it set it up for me as. And you can customize your hard drive space and everything before the installation. I am just going to go with what it's set up as already. But you can do whatever you want and then click Create. If you're on a newer version, it probably will ask you for the serial code. Um, or the product key. Older versions, it'll ask you a little bit later in the installation. So I'm just going to wait for this to start up and we'll see what it looks like in a few minutes. So after about 30 seconds, you'll get to this page. Just select your language, your time, and what you want your keyboard to be. So that's perfect for me. English, English, and United States. Go ahead and click Next and Install Now. So let's see if this looks anything like the Windows 7 installation. And be aware that this is a preview, so it's not fully out yet, which means it's still kind of being tested and you will expect some bugs in it. So don't freak out if it doesn't work perfectly. It is just a preview. And now we're going to type the product key in. Now, unfortunately, Windows um, doesn't have the tools installed yet, so you can't copy something on your clipboard on your Mac and paste it in in Windows yet. So you are going to have to type this in, not copy and paste. Okay, so then go ahead and select Next. And now you just want to click I accept. Click Next. And I have tried this before and I just uh, left it at the default as upgrade, but it actually failed. And I realized that when you clicked custom, it worked. So I am going ahead and select custom just because I know that works. And now this does look exactly like Windows 7. So I'm going to cut the camera right now. It's just copying Windows file, expanding Windows files, installing features, installing updates, and then almost done installing Windows. When those are all checked off, I'll come back. Okay, so now you get to this window right here. It's going to ask me to restart Windows. So you can either click restart now or just wait the 10 seconds for it to automatically restart. Now, because I am installing it in Parallels, it is restarting just the virtual machine, not my actual Mac. That's why I'm able to keep recording. But if you are, re if you are installing this in Boot Camp, it probably will restart your actual computer. But VMware in Parallels is just going to restart the virtual sh machine within your Mac, which is not too big of a deal. And it should bring me right into Windows. We'll see what happens. Okay, so after about a minute of restarting and then going through the loading process twice, brings you to this menu where you can change your background color and give your PC a name. So I'm just going to name my um, PC Windows 8. And you can um, choose a background color. I'm just going to leave mine at the default. Click Next. 
And then when you go to settings, you can either customize it or just use the express settings. So I'm just going to use the express settings. You can sign into your PC. I don't want to sign in. Let me just see if it'll let me click next. It won't. I'm just going to say don't want to sign in. And um, I'm going to make a local account just because this is a preview and I'm not really going to be using it all that much. But just type in your name, um, password. I'm just going to type Alex again. Alex and password hidden Alex because I really don't care. But, um, you know, set that whatever you want. And it's not going to let me do that, so you just type your name. Okay, so finalizing your settings. Overall, this installation wasn't that long. I'd probably say um, 20, actually less than that, probably like 10 minutes of waiting. Okay, and once that happens, you get into the UI of Windows 8. So this is Windows 8. I'm not really going to show you around. If you want to see more videos of Windows 8 in the future, let me know down in the comments. I'll be sure to do that. But for now, I'm just going to play around, get used to it before I put another video out. Overall, really easy installation. I recommend doing it. It's completely free. The download link will be in the description. Uh, that's it, guys. Check out some of my other videos, and I'll see you later.